Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is Dee, and you are on the Quixby channel. Today, I am going to teach you how to convert a PNG or JPEG image into a PDF for the purpose of being able to print it in tiles or in poster mode. Now, most notably, we do this because we are printing something that is big, such as a Home Depot rug. <laughs> and our image is larger than our printer is capable of printing. Now, one thing you'll need in order to print in tiles is the real Adobe PDF reader. And if you don't have it, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through getting it and installing it. It is totally free. Um, I just got a new laptop, so I have to install it on my laptop because the version of Adobe that I have is like a Microsoft version. It's pretty lightweight and it does not allow me that option to print in tile mode. So if you find that you have the same problem not being able to print a PDF in the tile mode, you might also have a lightweight version of a PDF reader. So you can watch my screen as I download the real version on my own laptop and then you can watch me go through the motions of printing a large design in tiles. If that sounds like something that you're interested in learning, I'll see you inside. Let's convert your PNG or your JPEG into a PDF. Now I'm going to assume that you don't have a design program that does it or you don't have PowerPoint. Um, but if you do have a design program or if you have PowerPoint, the easiest thing to do is to put your image inside your design program or put your image inside of PowerPoint and then save it as a PDF. It's very easy to do. But I'm going to assume you don't have either one of those options and I'm going to show you how to save it as a PDF using Google Slides, which is completely free. All right, so all you need for this is your actual image, and then I'm gonna show you how to convert it into a PDF using free Google Slides. Here we go. All right, everybody, here's how we're going to use Google Slides to convert our image into a PDF. So from Google, let's just type in Google Slides and click what comes there. And we're going to take this option here, Google Slides. And we want to make sure we use the personal version, not the business. So click under personal and go to Google Slides. And we are going to open a blank presentation. And I just did that by clicking on it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to Untitled Presentation and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call it my 12 by 24 PDF rug so that I know um, what it is when I download it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight the slide and we're going to come over to Layout. We need to get rid of these boxes here. So I'm going to just click Blank. Now we have a nice blank slide that we're working with. Now the last thing we have to do before we upload our picture is to make this workspace here, this slide, we have to make it the size of our image. So let's go under File. We're going to go to Page Setup. And we're going to click that. I'll just click out again so you can see this little drop down box here. We're looking for Custom. And there it is. And the first thing is width. So we know that my rug, in my case, it was 24 inches wide. So I'm going to put 24. And then the width, I'm sorry, the height was 12 inches. And then I'm going to click apply. And there we have it. Now the slide is the size that I need it to be. And it won't shrink anything when I upload it. Now, the last thing to do is to upload my image. And we do that on the insert menu, insert image, upload from computer. 
And here is my rug image right here. If it's not where you thought it was, you probably have to go somewhere and find it, like go to your computer and go through the path to find where your image is. And I upload it. And here is my big rug image. And I am now going to just download it to my computer. And I'm going to click File, Download. And here's where it's really important. We need to convert it into a PDF. So we are going to download it as a PDF. And that's this option right here, PDF document. Click it and watch it download right here. I did this one earlier, but this is the one I just did. I'm going to click that little up and I'm going to show it in the folder just because I like to see it in the folder. And now I'm just going to open it and make sure everything is okay. That's good. I'm going to just go under file properties and make sure it stayed the same size. And it did page size is 24 inches by 12 inches. Perfect. Now we have our image saved as a PDF. And what we can do from here is just go ahead and check to see whether or not you have the right Adobe installed to be able to print in tiles. To do that, you're in the file menu and you're going to click print. And if you have size, poster, multiple, and booklet, that's great. You're just going to go ahead and click the poster and it's going to be there for you. But most people do not have the right version of Adobe installed and you don't see these. But if you have these settings here, that's great. You can you do not have to download the Adobe software that we're going to do next. You can skip to the last section of the video and we'll go over how to um, optimize this for printing. All right, now if you don't have PDF Reader, you can download it for free at adobe.com. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how to do that. Not every computer or laptop comes with the free Adobe Reader. Um, they try to get you to use versions that really don't have that tile print feature. So if that's the case, if you're trying to do it and you just don't see the option inside of your PDF uh, printing options, go ahead and head on over to adobe.com. And you want to make sure when you do this that you are actually doing this from adobe.com. This is the actual maker of the product. Adobe, so you want to make sure that you're going to adobe.com. Once you're at adobe.com, you can come into the PDF and e-signatures. They actually make it kind of hard to find this free download, but it is there. So what we want is the Acrobat Reader, and this allows you to view, sign, and annotate PDFs. This is what we want, and this is the one that's free. Everything else costs money. So we want the Acrobat Reader. We're going to download it and I'm doing this with you um, on my brand new laptop just so that you can see. I'm going to actually go through the entire process with you. Now I'm not going to get the Pro. Uh, the Pro costs money. I don't even know how much it costs but all we want is Adobe Acrobat Reader DC and we're going to download that now. And this is to proceed. It really does tell you keep that open, but you can see down here in this little taskbar right here. See my yellow cur my cursor here. It is downloading, and that's nice. Norton tells me that it looks safe, and it should um, because it is the original Adobe program. I'll close out of that. And here, this is all done downloading. I'm going to open file. And here's where it's going to download all of the necessary utilities that it needs for me to be able to um, not only print and view PDFs properly, it's going to allow me to sign PDFs. That's a nice feature. If you ever um, need to sign a PDF, this will allow you to do that. 
um, but what we're using it for is the print in sections feature. So I'll probably just uh, come back to this when it's done. I don't really know how long it's going to take. All right, everyone. So I am back because it has finished downloading. Everything looks good. And I'm just going to click this finish button. Now that it is downloaded, I can just double click that. Actually, I'm going to go back and make sure that you saw that. So here's my desktop. We have our new installation of Acrobat Reader DC, and I'm going to double click it. So we're going to come into here and we're going to see here always open PDFs in Acrobat Reader, and I'm going to set that as the default. We're going to get this little information box, click on change, then choose Acrobat Reader DC in the dialog. We're going to click change. Um, and see what I did have installed here was something from Microsoft Edge that was pre-installed on my laptop that does not allow me to use the tile option or to print this in a poster or print in sections. And that's why we downloaded this. So now instead of using what was installed on my laptop where it says, see, keep using this app, um, no, the answer is no. I want other options. Now, when we open PDFs, I want to open them in Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, what we just downloaded from the free Adobe site. And I'm going to click OK. And always make sure you hit apply. If something happens and you're not opening these in the new system that you just downloaded, it's very possible you forgot to hit apply happens all the time. And now we're going to click OK. Now that should be done. Now, whenever we get a PDF, we should be able to open it in Adobe's free program and not some, you know, horrible version with limitations. The assumption here is that you were able to save your design as a PDF. And as long as you were able to do that, I'm going to show you mine now. Here's my S scroll rug. It is in a PDF format and I'm going to open it now. And it's going to open in the newly downloaded Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. That's the program we just downloaded um, from that website. This, and this is the free version. Okay, so I have this long, um, you know, S pattern. And just to make sure that our measurements stayed the same, what I will do is I'll go to File and Properties and just make sure that my file size and my page size didn't change on me. Okay, and here it is. So that's good. Now, we want to print this. So, and I'm going to show you how to print this in tiles. We're going to go under file, print, and wait for that box to pop up. Under paper size and handling, we have size, we have poster, multiple, and booklet. And we're going to be working with the poster. And look what it did automatically. It knows based on the size of my paper, how to split this up so that it stays the same size. Now, one of the limitations that this has is that it's always going to center it both vertically and horizontally. You're not going to be able to tell it to move this up. Um, it's just not going to be possible. So in this situation, you are going to be working with six different pieces of paper. And just look at like what, like one page will be this, one page. You can kind of click and see what the images will look like. This page will just have this little bit down here. Um, so it's not as like friendly when it comes to saving paper as the other option, but at least there is that option. Oh, we could also try landscape to see what that looks like. 
So you can print it in portrait or you can print it in landscape. Totally up to you. It, it's to me, it's not that big of a difference because the S is split. So as long as the S is split, there's really not that big of a difference, whether you print it in portrait or landscape, it's splitting the S in half. Now this is printing on letter page. I'm going to go into the page setup right here. This is assuming you have letter, but let's say you actually have some legal size sublimation paper. Go ahead and see what happens when you click the legal selection and click OK. And look at that. You would actually get three pieces of paper instead of six. And I would totally do this if I had legal paper. I would do this instead of the letter paper because it keeps the S in one piece. One piece is going to be this. One piece is going to be that. And your third piece of paper is going to be that. Well, that is a wrap. I want to thank you for hanging out with me on the channel while we went through that tile print process. And I'm hoping that you now know that you can break up your print even when you have a small printer. For instance, I printed all of this on the 2720 EcoTank so that I could do a bigger image on a Home Depot rug. If you've never tried printing on a Home Depot rug, it is lots of fun and I will put a link to the Home Depot rugs that we use. I will put that link in the show notes, in the show description, simply expand it to see more details. Or if you're on a cell phone, click that little down arrow. If you are now able to print in tiles, please, Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get notified when we upload our next video, which will probably be about printing in tile mode from Microsoft Paint. Until next time, happy sublimating, everybody. Bye.